Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and I say a short prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me as I record your words, and I beg you to dip every word I speak in your precious blood so that they will reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father, in your holy name, Amen. This is a vision um, by my friend, a vision of Jesus, uh, dated July 12, 1992, and um, I've entitled it, Rosaries and Prayers Save Souls. Uh, pretty heavy duty, so please, uh, please listen in, and may we be blessed for listening. I begin. My friend says, during prayers, I felt Christ's presence and am shown a huge dark crater around which people are standing, some which are on the very edge of it, others a little way back. And Jesus begins to speak. Pray, pray for those who are tottering on the edge of the abyss. Only prayers can help them. All my faithful should pray ceaselessly for those who are on the edge of the abyss, they can be saved. And then my friend describes that she gets a glimpse of the interior of the abyss, which seems dark at first. Then she sees it is filled with fire and bodies that are writhing in it. They are ugly and naked. Some are on the top, some in the middle. Um, some are at the top, some in the middle of the flames. So it's an environment of ugly, ugly, dark environment with, with lots of flames and naked, ugly people. Then she says, I hear Jesus' voice nearby, although I do not see him. He says to her, pray, pray ceaselessly for all those who are poised on the edge of the abyss, for it is ever widening more and more. And my friend goes on to describe further, I see the crater widening so that those on the edge automatically fall in, and I begin to feel afraid. I'm shown rosaries around the top and under the arms of some of the people on the edge, like safety ropes. These are used to pull them back to safety, although one foot may already be over the edge. Rosaries are being used like safety ropes to, to pull these people who were headed for the abyss. And then she describes that she saw the words prayer and prayers hooked together in a long chain, at the end of which is a large hook by which some people are dragged uh, backwards to safety in the same way as with the rosaries. The rope prayers uh, and white rosaries extend backwards and upwards and the tops are lost into the air. The rosaries are white and the prayer ropes are light brown. And she describes some of the uglies in the fire get to the edge of the chasm and grab the feet and ankles of those on the edge, pulling them into it. Again she can hear the words, pray, pray ceaselessly for them. The prayers of the faithful will save them once they have not tumbled or been dragged into the abyss. Once there, there is no help for them. So pray, pray for them. And my friend makes a note here that while she was typing this up, Jesus added these last few words that I'm going to say right now that end the message. And Jesus ends this with, And remember, the recalcitrants who wound me deeply by discerning, discerning although they had known me once, Remember them too. They wound me constantly. It is sad for me that although they had once known me, they prefer to turn away. Some fall into the abyss too. And that's the end of the message. It's a short message, so I'll record another message um, on another video right after this. But I do pray in Jesus' name that we will be granted the wisdom and the humility to be able to understand his words and be open to his words. Let's not deny the words of Jesus. 
These are miracles that he's giving us these words through various visionaries, not only this lady, but many. Use your discernment, of course, but pray to the Holy Spirit that we will be blessed with discernment because it is not something that is given uh, naturally and automatically. It's something we must ask. And we ask all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen.